I saw it when I was very young. The film came out in 1970 and uh, it, it's left such a strong impression uh, on my mind and I continued to look at it and enjoy it. And I love Bertolucci's work in this. I love the shots. They're so brilliant. They're so, uh, they're so cinematic and beautiful. And everything, every piece of detail in this film is controlled by, the, by Bertolucci or Storero, the, uh, the brilliant cinematographer. Um, Jean-Louis Trintignant is the, is the uh, protagonist and even his angular movements, the way he goes, the way he navigates those stairs up when he goes into the house, that's very much in contrast to later on, if you do get to see the film, uh, the, the voluptuous nature that we find with his girlfriend. And she's so vacant, it's just incredible. And he actually enjoys her vacancy and her giggling. But the main uh, part of his life is that he wanted to conform to the uh, ruling party of, of that time, which was uh, fascism. And he becomes an active fascist. He, he's, a, he's part of the party. And what happens at this time is uh, the party has asked him to go and kill somebody. And that somebody is his old professor. And by doing this, Marcello is paving the way for himself so that he becomes w one of the officials of the party, so long as this, this is going to be a successful um, episode for him. And uh, he teams this together with his honeymoon. He goes to Paris, which is where he chooses to go for his honeymoon. He, he makes the decision, not the bride. And that's where his professor lives. And that's where he actually uh, ex executes the, the decision to actually kill this particular professor, who is one of the rebels in, of, in Italy. And he's, been, uh, he, he's escaped from Italy and now he lives in Paris because he was fearing for his life. But Marcello is the one who was chosen to actually go and kill him. And he does that. So for, for the whole of his life, all he wants to do is conform and become normal, be it with the po political party or po politics of the period or in his personal life. And uh, that to me really appealed. Uh, it appeals to me enormously that it's such a multi-layered film. It speaks about the politics, the socioeconomic uh, climate, individuals and how they behave with their family and, uh, and their friends. Uh, and at the end of the day, we see Marcello. He's actually got his family with Giulietta, who is, who is you know, his wife then, and they have a little child. And he still is putting country before family and is absolutely the conformist right to the very end. And this is, has all been instigated by that one event when he was 13. I absolutely love this film. Y you can hardly tell. <laughs> <laughs>